It's the dictionary. Dictionary. It's the 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 dictionary. Hello, word nerds. Welcome to the dictionary. Welcome to the dictionary. Welcome to the dictionary. You've never met the dictionary. I'm here to tell you all about the dictionary and the words. Today is February 19th, 7 a.m. Ooh, I saw a nice sun sunrise. I was about to say it's sunset. No, a sunrise. I saw a nice sunrise this morning. Haven't seen a sunrise in a while. It was very beautiful, very pink. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about the words. The first word in this episode is the second form of essay. E-S-S-A-Y. Uh, let's see, essay, it says senses one, two, and four. Also, you can pronounce it essay. Essay. Noun from the 14th century. Number one, the synonyms are trial and test. We just need to test out some stuff. We're going to do some trials. We're going to run an essay or an essay. 2A, the synonyms are effort and attempt. Oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to make an attempt to put this basketball through that hoop, and then I'll get a touchdown. I'm going to make an essay. This seems, I don't know about this. Uh, this is especially, also, we have more information, an initial tentative effort. It's just like, it's like a rough draft. I'm just going to try it tentatively first. I'm going to do an essay. I am not familiar with this word used in this way. I have not recorded the previous episode yet because I think I want a guest on to talk about espresso. Um, so I haven't read the first form of essay. Let's not read it now. Let, don't, let's not do that. But this one is weird. These two definitions so far is not how I'm used to using the word essay. To be the result or product of an attempt. So if you're trying a thing tentatively, first try, first attempt, that's an essay. And then the, the actual result of what you have done. What did you try? Oh, I tried to write an essay. I wrote an essay. Maybe it's too complicated to use that word. I tried to start a podcast. I did a tentative attempt. I did. I essayed the, pro, the 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 podcast, and then I had an essay. Okay, three A, an analytic or interpretive literary composition, usually dealing with its subject from a limited or personal point of view. That's more what I'm used to. That's an essay. All these other ones, I guess, maybe it's more often pronounced. Essay, essay, but I don't, I don't use it. I, I've never heard of it. An analytic or interpretive literary composition. So you are, you, well, you know, we had to write essays in school, write an essay about this topic, about this thing, you know, make sure you've got your points and your intro and your thesis and your conclusion and all that. But but some people like to write essays after they're done with school. They like to keep on writing essays. Um, I don't do that. I have thought about it. I've thought, oh, it would be interesting to write an essay, um, you know, comparing these movies or something like that. Sometimes essays are written about movies. But that's not something that I've done. Um, I was just, just talking to somebody yesterday. Uh, what were we talking about? Comparing, um, oh, it was comparing... The movie Tar, which is about a fictional uh, orchestra conductor, and also uh, that new movie Maestro, which is about Leonard Bernstein. Bernstein, uh, also not fictional, a a real person who is also a conductor, also a composer. You know, there's there's a, at the very least there's a crossover between the fact that they're both composers, and they had interesting personal lives. Uh, sorry, conductors and interesting personal lives. You know, so it's like, oh, you could write an essay sort of comparing and contrasting these two movies. Um, every once in a while I get these thoughts. Oh, wait, 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 combine these. I don't got time to write essays, to write these analytic or interpretive literary compositions, usually dealing with its subject from a limited or personal point of view. How do I feel about this thing? What's my viewpoint, my take on this topic? 3B 
is something resembling such a composition, as in a photographic essay. Yeah, you can call it an essay, even though you're not writing words, you're taking pictures. And it's, you are, you are interpreting this topic in photographs, in this specific example. Um, you are analyzing it, interpreting it, whatever the topic is, uh, from a limited point of view or a personal point of view or a camera lens point of view. What does the camera see? How does the camera see this topic of homeless people in Seattle? That's an essay. What else do we have? Number four, a proof of an unaccepted design for a stamp or piece of paper money. A proof of an unaccepted design. This is very specific. We have a design that we would like to make for paper money or a stamp, but then it doesn't get approved. And the, what's, wow, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of another way to describe proof. It's a, what are they? It's like a, it's a the proof. It's a, it's a thing. It's like the thing. It's like the design, I guess. I don't know. It's an unaccepted design. No, sorry, we are not going to make the paper money with this design. We're not going to use that design for this stamp, even though it looks so pretty and wonderful and you work so hard on it. No, nope, we're not going to use it. And so it's an essay. Um, is there any interesting etymology? This is from the lower Latin exagium, which means act of weighing. Like what? Maybe you're weighing the options... Maybe you're literally weighing things. Uh, that is from the Latin ex prefix plus the word agere, which means to drive. Hmm. And there's more at the word agent. Driving, weighing, not sure how that's connected to any of these definitions. I mean, I guess a trial, a test, an effort, an attempt, those are, it's kind of like act of weighing. You're, you're weighing the options. You're weighing uh something you know you're trying a thing i don't know maybe is it a stretch possibly okay that's it for essay but we got we got a few related words the sound effect today is going to be um wah, wah. next we have essayist this is a noun from 1601 a writer of essays any sorts of essays written essays spoken essays, photographic essays, how many other kinds of essays are, are there? Espresso essays. Why don't you write an, an essay on espresso? That would be an interesting essay. And write it by hand with a quill, with a you know, fake quill, not from a bird. The, write it in coffee. Write it in espresso on paper. Wow, wow. Essayistic is an adjective from 1862, one of or relating to an essay or an essayist. So it's about an essay or the person creating the essay. Essayistic. It's very essayistic. Somebody who writes a lot of essays would be an essayistic person. I'm not an essayistic person. I didn't really care to write the essays in school. I was not that kind of kid. I didn't like writing those. I wasn't very good at them. But I did it, I got the job done, and I was a solid B across the board with a lot of effort. Took a lot of effort to get that B. Two, resembling an essay in quality or character. Oh, that essay has such good character. It was raised by such good parents, such good essay parents. Wow, wow. Essay question, two words, noun from 1947. An examination question that requires an answer in a sentence, paragraph, or short composition. Oh, these were the worst. For me, these were the worst. I think I was not alone in feeling like these were tough. You are taking a test, an examination question, a question on an exam that you are taking during class. You have a limited amount of time to do this test, to write this essay question, to answer this essay question, you have, I don't know, a page. You're given a topic. Please write one page on how World War II affected the internet. 
I'm sure somebody could do that. You got in the, in the spur of the moment, you got to come up with what you feel about this thing. Hopefully, you've learned during the class enough about this thing that you could speak semi intelligently about it. And then you got to organize your thoughts quickly and write it quickly. And it's very stressful. I didn't like the essay questions. Wow, wow. Essence. That's the next word. That's the next word. Essence. E S S E N C E. Espenser. Noun from the 14th century. So many definitions. Well, this is a handful, and they're kind of long. Number 1A the permanent as contrasted with the accidental element of being. Whoa. Okay, let's rephrase that. The permanent element of being as contrasted with the accidental element of being. I don't even know what the accidental element of being is, but the permanent element of being is who are you from the time you were born or before through your whole life, maybe past your life, maybe past your dead. What is the essence? Who are you? What? And this, this is interesting because I've spent a lot of time thinking about, as we all do, I'm sure, who I am. Where did I come from? Why did I, why am I the way I am? And while we do change in some ways throughout our life, I think that there are things that were created in our brains, our personalities, when we're little, 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 like in those first five years, there are things that have created us that just stay with us forever. We're always going to be like that in whatever way that is. And it's hard to put your finger on it, but it's the essence. What is the essence? What is the essence of Spencer? That's the only person that I can talk semi-intelligently about. What is my essence? I'm going to be trying to probably figure that out for my whole life. I don't know. It's something It's something silly, probably. That's what it is. My essence is silliness. It's the permanent part of you the permanent marker part of you, opposed to the accident. I still don't know what the accidental element of being is. The accidental? Why is it accidental? Is that the right word? The accidental element of being. That's probably some word that they use in psychoanalysis or something. Okay, 1B. The individual, real, or ultimate nature of a thing, especially as opposed to to its existence, opposed to its existence, as in a painting that captures the essence of the land. So now that we have that example in mind, the individual, real, or ultimate nature of a thing, especially as opposed to its existence. So I guess in this context, we're talking about the, yeah, what's the nature of the land that this painting has captured? It's different from the land that exists, but the painting captured what it really is, what its meaning is, what its 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 individual uh, nature, real nature, ultimate nature. Hmm. Okay. Or are we talking about as opposed to the existence of the painting? I don't know. But you know, it's the yeah, it's the it's the. You, that, how do you even define essence? I don't know. We're trying. We're trying. Um. What do we got? One C. The properties or attributes by means of which something can be placed in its proper class or identified as being what it is. What? 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 The properties or attributes by means of which something can be placed in its proper class or identified as being what it is. So this is like, I, I'm sort of thinking this is like um, when we were talking about the, the, the genus and the family, and the kingdom, and the phylum, and all the order, uh, that's what is the essence of that living thing, that animal, that plant, that fungus? What are its, its attributes that then we can classify it in one of those classes? What's its essence? 
I don't know if that's literally what we're talking about, but that's, I think, sort of the idea. Okay, number two, something that exists. The synonym is entity. Any entity, anything that exists is an essence, is essence. 3A1, a volatile substance or constituent as of perfume. So it's one part of the perfume. That's an example of where this is. Uh, a volatile substance or a con constituent. Well, uh, you know, like my coffee drink has essence. It has pieces. It's made up of pieces. It's made up of uh, cold brew and a creamer and water. Oh, and I forgot to put the sugar in this morning. My coffee today, because I like, I need the sweet. That's why it doesn't taste as good as it usually does. My my coffee is missing this essence. The essence is gone. That's okay. I got some. I got. We got. I, I, I'll take care of it. Oh, don't worry about me. A substance or constituent of a thing. It's the essence. Three a two, a constituent or derivative possessing the special qualities in concentrated form. And the example um, would be in a plant or a drug. A constituent or derivative possessing the special qualities as of a plant or drug. I guess that, that the plant or the drug has special qualities. In concentrated form. Also, a preparation of such an essence or a synthetic substitute. Um, it's, it's So if, you're, if you've got a plant that maybe has some medicinal value qualities to it if you take those out maybe if you extract them then you are extracting the essence of what makes that plant the plant or just part of the plant i think that's that's close enough for that one uh what else do we have we have three b the synonyms are odor and perfume who after spencer has done a workout uh, you can definitely smell his essence when he walks past you. you. He doesn't even need to walk past you. Just on the other side of the room, you know that Spencer is there because of his essence. Number four. One that possesses or exhibits a quality in abundance as if in concentrated form, as in she was the essence of punctuality. That would be fun to be described like that. Oh, she's the essence. She's always so punctual. She's not, if she's, if she's on time, she's late. One that possesses or exhibits a quality in abundance, as if in concentrated form. You have so much of that quality. It's bursting from your orifices. You, it's concentrated inside of you. What are some other things that you can have? You can be the essence of. You, be, you can be the essence of niceness, of kindness. That's what I think is important. The essence of compassion, the essence of love, the essence of sympathy, the es essence of empathy. So many words. Those are things that I, th I like to be the essence of those things. The essence of Spencens. Okay, number five. The most significant element, quality, or aspect of a thing or person. I mean, that's a very plain, great way to say that. The most significant element, quality, or aspect of a thing. Of a noun. They could have said noun. As in, the essence of the issue. What's the most important part? The most significant part? What's the essence of this podcast? I guess I like to say edutainment. That's the essence. Is that the right word? Is that how we describe this, the most important part? What is, whatever you think. What, what do you think? We have a couple phrases. In essence. And this is in or by its very nature. The synonyms are essentially and basically. Basically, essentially, in or by its very nature, in essence. We have an example, thank you, was in essence an honest person. They were essentially an honest person. Basically, they were pretty honest. Basically, in essence, you know, maybe not 100% of the time, but in essence, they were honest. Of the essence. 
And this is of the utmost importance, as in time is of the essence. Right now, you you're gonna miss the movie if you don't you are not the essence of punctuality. So you better get a move on because time is of the essence. You are gonna miss the first part of the movie and you don't want to do that. So get a going. Get going. Okay, let's look at the etymology. Not really much, uh, but it's uh, it's basic but nice and simple. It's from the Latin ascentia, which is from S-A, E-S-S-E, which means to be. That's what it is. It's just to be. What, who, who are you? What's, what, what, what do you be? Who are you? Just, it's, exi it's existence. Existence. Uh, there's more at the word is. I S. Who is you? Who is me? What are we doing? What is our essence? If you think you know what your essence is, if you can put that into words, feel free to email me, dictionarypod at gmail.com, leave a voicemail on the Google Voice number. Tell me about it in some way. I want to know what's your essence. Let's talk about that. I don't know if I can put my essence into words. I'd have to really think about that. I would probably have to write an essay about my essence. That would be a fun exercise. A Spencer essay, a, a spe, I, I, I don't know. A Spencer, Spencer, an essay about Spencer's essence. A boo -woo -woo. Next is, how do you say this word? Essene or Essene. Capital E-S-S-E-N-E. -S 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 -E -E. Essene. Noun from 1553. A member of a monastic brotherhood of Jews in Palestine from the 2nd century BC to the 2nd century AD. So I guess about 400 years. These uh, Essenians... Essenians uh, or Essenic, that's a, that's a uh, an adjective. Yep, Essenian uh, and Essenism is a noun. Now can you would you say the Essenes or the Essenians? How would you describe these people as a group? I would I would think Essenians, but I don't know. Essenian uh, monastic brotherhood of so they were Jewish um, What's the word I'm looking for? Mon... M m brothers? Monks. I think that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Jewish monks in Palestine. Oh, this is very interesting. That... Oh, we got to do something about that part of the world. The, the, I feel like this is... It's complicated, but it could maybe be settled simply if people would just chill. Okay. Uh, a scene, it's from the Greek, a scenos, which is kind of weird that it comes from Greek because it's Jewish and Palestine. I don't know. I don't know where this word came from, but never heard of them. Let's put a link in the show notes for the Essenes uh, so you can go learn about them because maybe most people don't know about them. They're not around anymore, I guess. Technically, I don't know. Wah, woo, wah. All right, one more word, two forms. The first one is quite long. The first form of the word essential. E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L. Adjective from the 14th century. Number one, of, relating to, or constituting essence. Something about essence is essential, and the synonym is the word inherent. Uh, what, yeah, just about essence is essential. 2A. Of the utmost importance, and the synonyms are basic, indispensable, indispensable and necessary, as in, an essential requirement for admission to college. The utmost important. It's just, it's like the, the thing that's like, first and foremost, you need this. You can't get into college if you don't have these essential things, basic, indispensable, necessary. Well, you probably had to pass kindergarten. That would be a pretty good essential requirement to get into college. And that's why I didn't go to college. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Uh, to B, this is, ooh, it's a long one. Being a substance 
that is not synthesized by the body in a quantity sufficient for normal health and growth and that must be obtained from the diet. As in, dietary protein provides the body with essential amino acids. Uh, it says compared to the number two definition for non-essential. So, oh, well, if we're talking about diet here, non-essential would be probably things like processed foods. To a degree, I would also throw in meat and dairy. Can't think of a whole other than a little bit. There's not a whole lot that's essential for meat and dairy. Um, so what's what's important i think to say here is the body doesn't automatically create this so you need to get it from your diet your diet the food that you eat is very very important and it's very very important to get to be eating the right kinds of foods otherwise your body is just going to not not work so good if you don't have the right foods the essential foods the essential amino acids stuff like that and it's got to be in a, a sufficient quantity for normal health and growth. And uh, yeah, you got to get it from your diet. That's about, I think, as far as I want to go down that route. You know, I don't, I'm not an expert when it comes to diet and nutrition, but I know a few things. I know enough to know that there are some things that we should be eating and some things that we should not be eating. There's a lot of people who are more educated about certain aspects of it than me. But yeah. Okay, let's not go down that route anymore. Number three, the synonym for this definition of essential is idiopathic. I-D-I-O-P-A-T-H-I-C. Now, I don't think this has anything to do with the word idiot. Just get that out of your brain. Idiopathic, as in a couple examples, essential disease. If you, you replace it with idiopathic, idiopathic disease. Not entirely sure what idiopathic means, but I guess a disease can be idiopathic or essential. This, this must have, obviously, a different meaning than in this context than we usually think of essential, because I wouldn't call a disease essential. Ooh, I need that disease so good. Ooh, that's essential disease. I need to put it in my body. No, this is something else. Also is in... Essential hypertension. So yeah, we're talking about the medical world. Mm, do we need to look up idiopathic real quick? Just so we have a bit more context and we don't have to wait years and years and years to uh, learn about. Okay, idiopathic is relating to or denoting any disease or condition which arises spontaneously or for which the cause is unknown. I don't know where the hypertension came from. I don't know where the disease came from. It just came about all of a sudden. There's another example here, epilepsy. Uh, yeah, it's essential. Now, I don't know why we're using the word essential here. Idiopathic seems like a much better medical term. Essential? I, essentially, you got this disease. You got this hypertension. We don't know where it came from. It, it just popped up, boop, out of nowhere. It's essential. Hmm. Okay. Hey, I learned something. If I hear a doctor talking about something in my body is essential, I'm going to be like, oh, are you talking about amino acids? No. Oh, you're talking about this bad thing that just popped up? Awesome. Thanks. Um, essentially is an adverb and essentialness is a noun. And there's no etymology. Probably becomes, it, it just comes from essence, I think. So let's read the synonym information for essential. All right, here we go. Essential, fundamental, vital, and cardinal mean so important as to be indispensable. So important to be indispensable. Spencer's essence is indispensable. Okay, I'll just have fun with these words that are similar to my name. Essential implies belonging to the very nature of a thing and therefore being incapable of removal without destroying the thing itself or its character. Whoa, if you get rid of the thing, you might destroy the thing. As in, conflict is essential in drama. 
if you are making a movie and you want it to be a drama, there needs to be some sort of conflict. Otherwise, it's not dramatic. Things are dramatic because the, the definition is there's conflict and you got to figure it out. That's that's a uh, it's essential. It's essential to drama. Okay, if you because if you take out the conflict, then it's not dramatic. Maybe it's comedic. Fundamental applies to something that is a foundation without which an entire system or complex whole would collapse. This sounds similar to the previous one, as in fundamental principles of algebra. Oh, if you take out those principles, the whole algebra world would collapse. And we can't have that. We need algebra to do things. You, some of the some of you kids who are taking algebra, you might think, I'm not going to use this. I, I use this. I still use algebra in some form all the time. Vital suggests something that is necessary to a thing's continued existence or operation, as in, cut off from vital supplies. You need those things. You don't want to be cut off from vital supplies because they are necessary for a thing to keep on existing. Food, food and water, healthy foods ideally, would be vital to you. Cardinal. Cardinal, cardinal, do how many syllables do you like to say this word? This suggests something on which an outcome turns or depends, as in a cardinal rule in buying a home. What's, what's a cardinal rule for buying a home? Maybe the first one is have some money. Maybe the next... Um, why? Okay, I money i just i just get frustrated with money why do we live in a system where you need to have a certain amount of money to live in a place to live in a decent place and it's hard for people to make money at all to save money at all but that's a whole other topic it suggests something on which an outcome turns or depends uh yeah i can't think of another way to say that okay one more entry here in this episode. Wah, 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 wah. The second form of essential noun from the 15th century. One, something basic, as in the essentials of astronomy. The essentials of astronomy to an astrophysicist are probably pretty basic, but to a lot of people, the essentials of astronomy are kind of high level, maybe a little bit hard, but you know, the I don't know, maybe the essentials are we're on a planet, and there's a sun, which is also called a star, and there are moons. That Those are the essentials right there. I, I nailed it. The essentials of astronomy, boom, you're done. Light is the thing that moves the fastest through the universe, and you will never be as fast as light. Number two, something necessary, indispensable, or unavoidable can't get away from that what can you not avoid death is essential we we need to die we just need to you don't want to be a vampire you don't want to be something that lives forever because it's gonna get boring isn't it yes it would be all right it's word of the episode time w-o-t-e word of the episode we had today essay, essayist, essayistic, essay question, essence, essene, essential, and essential. And I think I need to pick essence as the word of the episode because it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to think about your essence. What's the essence of a thing? I don't know. I think it's just a fun topic. What is my essence? What is my essence? What is the essence of this song? The essence of this song is the essence that's really meta. The essence is the essence. All right, great. Something that is essential to me is movies. I guess I can blame my parents for that or just society. They're kind of essential around the world. A lot of places. We just love movies. Why do we love movies so much? Uh, most, not everybody, not everybody. Uh, Lisa Frankenstein, that's the next movie. And let me put in a little mark that says I mentioned this. 
Um, oops, and then I undid it. Didn't want to do that. Um, Lisa Frankenstein. Uh, very uh, silly, weird, fun movie. We, we quite enjoyed it. Uh, very stylistic. Uh, goofy. Um, deals with semi-serious stuff, but also just in a really fun way. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. Um, hmm, how, what's it rated? I want to say maybe PG-13. I think that makes sense. That's probably about where I would put it. Uh, yeah, you know, it deals with, it deals with the essentials. Love and death. That's it. All right, that the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening and checking out this podcast and let the people know if you like this show, let other people know. This has been Spencer Dispensing Information. Goodbye.